this morning asubuhi i am blessed of the lord nimebarikiwa na bwana i praise him and I glorify him namsifu namtukuza yeye because he is a giver of life sababu anapeana uzima he is a restorer yeye ni wakurejesha ah uh, is the year of divine increase e, mwaka wa kuongezeka kiungu and this month na katika mwezi huu we are commanding the grace for restoration tunaamrisha neema ya urejesho I like to appreciate bishop and mom ningependa kuwashukuru askofu pamoja na mom for this opportunity kwa nafasi hii to minister this morning kuhudumu asubuhi ya leo that we may pick what the lord has uh, found it fit for us ili tuweze kuchukua kile ambacho bwana ameokenelea ameokenelea ni chema kwetu uh, commanding the grace for restoration kuamrisha neema ya urejesho ah uh, my uh, 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 the topic this morning na kichwa asubuhi ya leo is understanding restoration ni kuelewa urejesho understanding restoration kuelewa urejesho ah uh, in english kwa kimombo this prefix ri eh uh, hicho kitangulizi pre, uh, when you check these words that begin with re ukichukua hayo maneno ambayo yanaanza kwa ara na e eh huwa inamaanisha kitu kuja tena it means that something is coming back again re store kurejeshwa re store kurejeshwa something coming back eh kitu kikirudi tena relieve revive eh kufufua no iri na maanisha kuleta tena eh hiyo ri maana yake it's coming back again so restoration kwa hivyo urejesho restoration is getting back urejesho ni kurudi tena what you lost ama kupata tena kile ambacho ulipoteza you once had it eh wakuna wakati ulikuwa nacho or it was spoken ama ile zungumzwa that it would be yours ya kwamba kitakuwa chako but somehow along the way lakini mambo yakiwa hivyo katika njia you lost it ukaipoteza it never came to you na haikukurudia tena but now the moment has come lakini sasa muda umefika for you to have back wako ili ukipokee tena what belonged to you kile ambacho kilikuwa chako The Lord is a Lord of restoration. Bwana ni bwana wa urejesho. There are many things we can lose in life. Na kuna vitu vingi ambavyo tunaweza kupoteza katika hali ya maisha. You can lose money. Unaweza kupoteza fedha. You can lose joy. Unaweza kupoteza furaha. You can lose a, 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 a relationship. Unaweza kupoteza mahusiano. You can lose land. Unaweza kupoteza ardhi. And many other things. Na vitu vingine vingi. But the Lord is commanding a restoration. Lakini Bwana anaamrisha urejesho. For us. Wetu. One thing about uh, <clears throat> to understand restoration kitu kimoja kuelewa urejesho we need to have this understanding tunastahili kuwa na kujua huku one cha kwanza we live in a fallen world tunaishi katika nchi ya ugeni and in a fallen world na katika ulimwengu mgeni we are at war with the enemy sisi tuko katika vita na adui we are at war with the enemy tuko kwenye vita na adui and this enemy na huyu adui is the devil ni shetani and the devil naye shetani is a thief ni mwizi the devil shetani is a destroyer ni mwaribifu the devil shetani is a killer ni muwaji those are three things according to john 10:10 hivyo ni vitu vitatu kulingana yohana 10 mstari wa 10 The devil is on that business. Shetani yuko katika harakati hiyo. To steal, kuiba, to destroy, kuangamiza and to kill. Na pia kuua. And that is the thief. Na huyo ndiye mwizi. In this fallen world. Katika ulimwengu huu mgeni. That is his mission. Hiyo ndiyo kazi yake. What does this mean? Sasa hii maana yake ni nini? Because we live in this fallen world na kwa sababu tunaishi katika huu ulimwengu mgeni. Moments will come. Nyakati zitakuja. When you have something you treasure ukiwa na kitu ambacho unakithamani. The enemy comes to steal it. Shetani anakuja kukiiba. 
along the way of life na katika harakati za maisha you will receive bruises you will be bruised utapokea majeraha you will be hurt utaumizwa you will be down utakuwa chini that is the fallen world sasa huo ndio ulimwengu ulimwengu mgeni those are the things we shall go through na hivyo ndivyo vitu ambavyo utapitia but one thing lakini kitu kimoja and we can smile about it ambacho tunaweza kufurahia kwacho we can take pride in it tunaweza kujivunia is that ni kwamba we have the one e tunaye who makes us overcome ambaye anatufanya tushinde because he overcame kwa sababu yeye alishinda and that is jesus na huyo ni yesu he is above all things yeye yuko zaidi ya vitu vyote he is the lord of victory yeye ni bwana wa ushindi so when you lose na hivyo basi unapopoteza you will get back utakipokea tena he is restoring yeye anarejesha in understanding restoration katika kuelewa urejesho point number 2 hoja ya ya pili one as people kwetu watu as the lord's chosen people njinze kama watu wateule wa mungu we are being shaped basi tunaendelea na kutengenezwa kuumbwa we are being made tunaendelea na kutengenezwa we are being chiseled tunaendelea kutengenezwa so that tells me sasa hiyo inaniambia sometimes wakati mwingine when this enemy comes to bruise me wakati huyu adui amekuja kuniumiza i understand sometimes nielewe nyakati nyingine the lord may allow it bwana mungu anaweza kuiruhusu so that he shapes me ili akanitengeneze for the greater things he is going to pour kwa vitu vikuu ambavyo ataenda kuachilia on me juu yangu and that na kwamba Nobody is to be dismissed. Hakuna mtu ambaye atakataliwa. Nobody is written off. Hakuna mtu ambaye atapuuzwa. Because according to Jeremiah 18, kwa sababu kulingana na Yeremia 18, the Lord is the potter. Bwana Mungu ndiye mfinyanzi. And he is always shaping. Na kila wakati huwa anatengeneza. And shaping. Anafinya anafinyanga. And shaping people. Na, anaendelea na kuwaunda watu to become better wafanyike bora because sababu whatever situation we go through hali yoyote ambayo tunaipitia it is not permanent e si ya kudumu that thing you do not like kitu hicho ambacho haukipendi that bruise you e, are facing hilo jeraha ambayo umeipata that loss you are facing huko kupoteza ambako umepata it is not a permanent situation e si hali ya kudumu the potter is at work e, baba yuko katika kazi na if you go there jeremiah tukienda Yeremia 18:4 mstari wa 4 but the pot he was shaping from the clay na chombo kile alichokuwa akikifinyanga was mad in his hands kilipoharibika mkononi mwake yule mfinyanzi so the potter formed it kwa hivyo mfinyanzi akakitengeneza chombo into another pot akakitengeneza kikafanyika chombo kingine shaping it as seemed best akikifanya kuwa chombo kile bora vinjinzi amekiona assumed best to him ile kimeonekana ni bora kwake i tell you ni when the lord is at work wakati bwana yuko katika kazi that former glory huo utukufu hapo mbele cannot compare with the latter glory hawezi ukalinganishwa na utukufu wa baadaye the original pot the former you E, yule mtu wa hapo awali the former you yule mtu wa mwanzoni in the hands of god katika mikono ya mungu he begins to shape you anaanza kukutengeneza you have gone through beatings and bruises umepitia katika hali ya kugongwa na kichapo through losses kupitia kupoteza but the lord is at work lakini bwana yukazidi shaping you akikufinyanga kula making you better akikufanya uwe bora best assumed best to him jinsi alivyokiona kuwa ni bora kwake when you look at people like hana ukiangalia watu kama hana who were childless bao walikuwa hawana watoto and they cried unto the lord na wakamlilia bwana she was the subject of laughter and mockery akawa kifaa cha kuchekelewa na kudhihaka but, but the lord decided lakini bwana akaamua i am going to shape this woman nitaenda kumtengeneza mwanamke huyu she has been ridiculed yeye amechekelewa now time has come 
Na sasa wakati umefika. I want to restore her. Nataka kumrejesha. And she gets a child. Na anapokea mtoto. And she earns respect. Na anapata eh, eh, shima. She is remembered. Yeye anakumbukwa. After restoration. Baada ya urejesho. We know David as a young boy. Tunajua Daudi kama eh, mvulana. Tending sheep. Akichunga kondoo. But the Lord brings him from that environment. Lakini Bwana anamchukua kutoka katika mazingira hayo. And he takes him to war. Na anampeleka vitani. He brings down Goliath. Anamwangusha Goliath. And from that moment, na kutoka wakati huo, David is a different person. Daudi ni mtu tofauti. That mockery from his brothers. Ile dhihaka ya kutoka ndugu zake was no more. Elisha. Number 3 about restoration. Nambari ya tatu kuhusu urejesho. Restoration is an act of mercy. Urejesho ni tendo la rehema. An act of mercy. Tendo la rehema. It is the Lord, ni Bwana, who decides. Ambaye huamua. I will show mercy. Na kuonyesha rehema upon this person. Juu ya mtu huyu. And from now onwards. Na kutoka leo kwenda mbele. It will be a different story about them itakuwa ni hadithi tofauti kuwahusu Exodus 33:19 Mwanzo 33 mstari wa 19 Restoration getting back Urejesho kurudishwa is an act of mercy Ni tendo la kirehema Now the Lord is speaking to Moses here Bwana Mungu anaongea na Musa hapa And the Lord said Naye Mungu akasema I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you Nitapitisha wema wangu wote mbele yako and I will proclaim my name Nami nitalitangaza jina langu the Lord Bwana in your presence mbele yako then I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy Nami nitamfadhili yeye nitakaye mfadhili and I will have compassion on whom I will have Combustion. Nitamrehemu yeye nitakaye mrehemu. What does this mean? Sasa hii maana yake ni nini? The Lord does not work. Bwana afanyi kazi depending on the dictate of any being. Kutegemea na hamri za mwanadamu yeyote. He alone yeye mwenyewe peke yake. Huamua and says, na anasema, I will love mercy Nitapata rehema on Miriam Kambua juu ya Miriam Kambua and I have declared it na nimeitangaza hivi the rest may wonder now now surely wale wengine wanaweza sasa kushangaa sasa is she worthy of such mercy yeye anastahili rehema za aina hiyo why not so and so kwa nini si fulani fulani but it is the lord lakini ni bwana in his completeness yeye katika ukamilifu wake in his wisdom katika hekima yake he decides Huamua. So and so shall receive my mercy. Fulani fulani atapokea rehema zangu. Our judgment sasa hukumu uh, zetu ama uamuzi wetu. Maybe that ah, so and so is not that strong. Ni kwamba fulani fulani yeye si mwenye nguvu vile. He's very active. Yeye si mtendakazi sana. So why should he deserve such mercy? Na basi kwa nini apate hizo rehema? But is the Lord who decides it. Lakini Bwana amekata kauli. I love mercy on whom I love mercy. Yeye atakuwa atamrehemu yeyote ambaye atakaye mrehemu. Now let's speak a case in Luke 18. Wacha tuchukue kelelezo Luka 18. Luke 18 8. Luka 18:38. Luka 18:38. Luka 18:38. The Lord showing his mercy. Bwana akizionyesha rehema zake. He called out. Basi akaitana. Now this was a blind man. Huyu alikuwa mtu kipofu. Jesus. Yesu, son of David, mwana wa Daudi. Have mercy on me. Unirehemu. Mm-hmm. You can proceed. Twendele. Those who led the way rebuked him. Basi wale waliotangulia njiani wakamkemea. And told him wakimwambia to be quiet. Anyamaze. Now. 
This is the opinion of the people. There are certain people who do not deserve mercy. Come on. Why are you making such noise here? You look pathetic. You, you, don't, you don't deserve any connection with the master. So please don't shout here. You are destroying the, 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 the environment. Uh, hapa, there is some uh, wacha, respect here. Wacha hapa. Don't destroy, uh, uh, na, na, na destroy things for us. Kelele, Don't make such noise here. We have some order. E, but he shouted the more. Lakini Son of David, sauti sana. have mercy on me. He, mwana wa Daudi now we had seen in Exodus. Kule mwanzo, eh, the kutoku. Lord has said, Bwana Mungu ya mesema, I will have mercy on whom I will have Nita mercy. So I will restore the one I choose. Yule ambaye yes. Dio. And this is what the Lord does. Na hivyo bwana so there is no one who is ruled out when it comes to restoration when that person calls upon the Lord the Lord will hear and this man was restored actually move on to verse 30, 40 verse 40 verse 40 Jesus stopped Yesu akasimama and he ordered na akaamuru let this man who is being dismissed mtu huyu ambaye anakatiliwa anakataliwa be brought to me aletwe kwangu then he came near basi akamkaribia Jesus asked him Yesu akamuuliza Move on Tuendelee what do you want me to do for you Wataka nikufanyie nini Lord I want restoration. Nataka urejesho. I want to see. Nataka kuona. He replied. Akajibu. He makes clear. Anaifanya kuwa wazi. What he desires to receive from the Lord. Hile anatamani kupokea kutoka kwa buwana. Very definite. Yanyo darura. Very specific. Darura kabisa. Lord, this is what I want. Buwana hii ndiyo ni nahitaji. Jesus said to him. Yesu basi akamwambia. Receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. By faith, we receive our restoration. Which is an act of mercy. And here I notice, and going through scripture, I notice that Jesus spent the bigger part of his ministry restoring health restoring health they were healthy before they became sick Lakini wakaugua. They had infirmities. Walikuwa na mapigo. And some died. Na wengine pia wakafa. So he comes to bring restoration. Basi anakuja kuleta urejesho. Restoration of limbs. Urejesho wa viungo. Restoration from sickness. Urejesho kutoka magonjwa. And bringing a life from death. Na kuleta eh, eh, kuwafufua kutoka kifo. The larger part of Jesus ministry is on restoration. Sehemu mkubwa ya utumishi wa huduma ya Yesu ilikuwa ni urejesho. Oh, asking myself why why health basi nikawa najiuliza mwenyewe ni kwa nini alijikita sana katika afya the health of an individual is more critical to Jesus sababu afya ya mtu ni muhimu sana kwa Kristo because is then after health kwa sababu baada ya afya or restoring health ama kurejesha afya but now he has time with them ndipo sasa yuko na wakati nao and i notice that nikatambua when you are healthy ukiwa mwenye afya you can think straight you can think straight but without good health no matter what you have anything else does not count no wonder we say it is better to be poor than being sick 
kuliko kuwa una ugumu and being sick kuliko kuwa mgonjwa and so a healthy person najua wewe mtu ambaye uko na afya can be productive unaweza kuwa unazaa when you are healthy ukiwa mwenye afya you are productive you can work wewe unaweza kufanya kazi unaweza kuzalisha you can be sent here and there you can do a uh, 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 virtually everything hakika unaweza kufanya jambo lolote kila kitu so that is why the issues of earth na hii ndio sababu mambo kuhusu afya were of great concern yalikuwa ndio yesu anayajali sana to jesus wake yesu to jesus kwa yesu uh, number 4 nambari ya 4 restoration urejesho is god's promise ni ahadi ya mungu Restoration is God's promise. Urejesho ni ahadi ya Mungu. Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30. The Lord knows we live in a world. Bwana Mungu yajua ya kwamba tunaishi katika ulimwengu where the enemy ambapo adui is out to attack us ametoka ili atushambulie and of course us to be wiped out na kutufanya ili tutumalizwe so he has a promise kwa hivyo yeye yuko na ahadi but even when you lose ya kwamba hata ukipoteza i am there to restore you niko hapo nikurejeshe this is the word hili ndilo neno uh, that jeremiah 33 ni jeremiah 30 mstari wa 3 the word from the lord from Uh, to, to Jeremiah from the Lord Neno lake bwana kutoka kinywa cha Yeremia The days are coming Siku zinakuja declares the Lord Asema bwana Which days are these Siku hizi ndizo zipi When I will bring my people Israel nitakapowarejesha watu wangu wa Israeli and Judah na Yuda back from captivity waliofungwa and restore them to the land i gave their ancestors to possess nami nitawarudisha hata inji niliyowapa baba zao na wataimiliki restoration from captivity urejesho kutoka kwa mateka you know, captivity is slavery e, kufungwa ni utumwa where you have no freedom to decide on anything ukiwa una uhuru wa kuamua chochote whatever you will do na chochote ambacho utafanya whatever you will be chochote uta, utakuwa is decided by others kinaamuliwa na wengine captivity in babylon utumwa kule babeli and the lord makes this promise naye mungu anapeana that is going to restore them to their land ya kwamba atawarejesha katika nchi yao because they are in foreign land kwa sababu wako katika nchi ya ugeni in foreign land you can decide what to grow katika nchi ya ugeni uwezi ukasema what to grow e kile ambacho utapanda but when they go to their own land lakini walipopata nchi yao then they are free there basi hapo wako na uhuru they make productive use of their land watapata kuzalisha so tem, e, this yao. is restoration from captivity sasa huku ni kurejeshwa kutoka utumwa same jeremiah jeremiah yule yule 33 33 33 verse 4 to 8 mstari wa 4 hadi wa 8 For this is what the Lord the Lord the God of Israel says about the houses in this city and the royal palaces of Judah that have been torn down to be used against the siege rams and the sword. Uh, uh, basi maana Bwana Mungu wa Israeli asema hivi katika habari za nyumba za mji huu na katika habari za nyumba za wafalme wa Yuda zilizobomolewa ili kuyapinga maboma na upanga. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, city. The cities of Judah. Hii ni miji ya Yuda. In ruins. Iko katika magofu. In ruins. Kwenye magofu. Now, in the fight with the Babylonians. Katika kupigana na Babylon. That is Babylon. what happened. Hivi ndivyo inafanyika. And what is the Lord saying? Naye Mungu anasema nini? They will be filled With the dead bodies of the people I will slay in my anger and wrath. Lakini uh, lakini ni kuji, kuzijaza na mizoga ya watu niliyowaua katika hasira yangu na ghadhabu yangu ambao kwa anjili ya uovu wao wote nimeoficha mji huu uso wangu. Verse 
mstari wa 14 Verse 14, the same chapter. Mstari wa kumina ne sura hiyo hiyo. The days are coming. Siku zinakuja. Declares the Lord. Asema buwana. When I will fulfill the good promise I made to the people of Israel and Judah. Nitakapolitimiza neno lile jema nilo linena katika habari za nyumba Israeli na katika habari za nyumba ya Yuda. The days are coming. Siku zaja. Light at the end of the tunnel. E nuru katika mwisho wa shimo. From captivity. Kutoka utumwa. I will take you back to your land. Nitawarudisha katika njienu. And fulfill that good promise. Na kulitimiza hiyo hadi nzuri. Restoration is a promise. Urejesho ni a hadi. I made a promise to restore you. Nikatoa hadi ya kuwarejesha. To take you back to your land. Warudisha katika njienu. You people of Israel. Nini watu wa Israel. And Judah. Hamoja na Yuda. Restoration. Urejesho is a promise. Ni ahadi. It forced Jesus to come down from heaven. Ikan mlazimisha Yesu kutoka mbinguni. Restoration. Urejesho. It forced Ika Jesus Yesu. to come down Kuja from hapati. heaven. Kutoka mbinguni. Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah 60, I believe, yes. Isaiah 60, No, 61. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61 na moja. It's a scripture with a promise. Very, very, very sweet. Kuna maandiko yenye ahadi hapo ambao ni matamu sana. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 60 na moja. The Spirit of the Lord, the Sovereign Lord. Isaiah 60, 61 verse 1. Isaiah 60 na moja msari wa kwanza. Isaiah 61 verse 1 Isaiah 61 moja msari wa kwanza Yeah the spirit of the sovereign lord is upon me Roho ya Bwana Mungu e juu yangu because the lord has anointed me kwa sababu Bwana amenitia mafuta to proclaim good news to the poor. Ni waubiri wa nyenyekevu habari njema. The poor to receive restoration. Maskini kupokea urejesho. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted. Amenituma ili kuwaganga waliovunjika moyo. These are the people Jesus was dealing with. Hawa ndio watu Yesu alikuwa anawashughulikia. In his ministry. Katika huduma yake. The broken hearted. Wale waliovunjika mioyo. He found them. Aliwapata. He uh, uh, unbound them na akawafunga to proclaim freedom e, kutangaza for uhuru. the captives kwa mateka we are in captivity in different ways tuko katika mateka kwa njia tofauti some are captives to certain sicknesses wengine mateka kwa baadhi ya magonjwa but the lord is speaking a restoration mwana anasababisha urejesho to make such people free kuwafanya watu hao kuwa huru and release from darkness na kuachilia kutoka ngizani for the prisoners e wale ambao wamefungwa prisoners in sin waliofungwa katika dhambi jesus came to release them from darkness yesu alikuja kuachilia kutoka ngizani we can move on tunaweza kusonga mbele to proclaim kutangaza the year mwaka of the lord's favor Wabana ulio kubaliwa. And the day of vengeance of our God. Na siku ya kesasi cha mungu wetu. To comfort all who mourn. Kwa fariji wote ambao wanahuzunika. When we talk of the year of the Lord's favor. Tunapongea kuhusu mwaka wakibali cha buwana. Then we are talking of the moment. Tunaongea kuhusu ule wakati. The Lord has visited you. Buwana mungu ya mekutembelea. And has brought a new song. Na mekupatia wimbo mpia. Yes. Hiyo. Certainly because you have been healed of a certain situation. Labda kwa sababu umeponywa kwa hali fulani. It can be in harvest you have never 
received inaweza kuwa ni mavuno ambayo hujawahi kuyapokea it can be a promotion you have never had inaweza kuwa ni kupandishwa chio ambako hujawahi patana nalo it comes a moment to proclaim the lord's favor unafanyika ni wakati wa kutangaza mwaka ama kibali cha bwana a moment the lord comes wakati bwana anakuja because your enemies kwa sababu maadui zako have been pressing you wamekuwa kikutesa left right and center kutoka kila upande the lord has come as your, as your vengeance basi bwana amekuja kama mlipisa kisasi wako he fights for you na anakupigania and restores what you lost na anarejesha kile ambacho ulipoteza Somebody has been mourning. Mtu amekuwa na anahuzunika. The moment the Lord brings comfort. Wakati Bwana analeta faraja. That you'll never mourn again. Kwamba hutawahi huzunika tena. That is the moment of the Lord's restoration. Huu ndio wakati wa kurejeshwa na Bwana. Let us move on. Wacheni tuendelee. And provide for those who grieve in Zion. Uh, na kuangazia hao walio katika Sayuni. To bestow on them a crown of beauty wapewe taji ya maua instead of ashes badala ya majivu yeah these are people going through hard times hawa ni watu ambao wanapitia nyakati ambazo ni ngumu and the lord is now speaking a restoration naye bwana sasa hivi anaongea urejesho for his own glory e kwa utukufu wake mwenyewe so is this so and so kwa hivyo huyo ni fulani fulani. The Lord has placed a crown of beauty. Bwana Mungu amemweka taji ya, ya uh, taji nzuri. On their heads. Juu ya kichwa chao. Instead of ashes. Badala ya majivu. Instead of ashes. Badala ya majivu. You previously we had seen that with the restoration. Naona pamoja na urejesho. The Lord is in the business of shaping people. Bwana Mungu yuko katika harakati za kuwatengeneza watu. The potter wa. is making the best. Mfinyanzi anatengeneza kile bora kabisa. That person, huyo mtu, who was walking in ashes. Mbaya alikuwa anatembea katika majivu. Instead of ashes. Badala ya majivu, now the Lord has placed a crown of beauty on their heads. Sasa Bwana amemvika taji ya urembo juu yao. The singer sang a song. Mwimbaji akaimba wimbo. My purifier. Eh, yeah, my purifier. Anaye nirembesha. Yes. So this is what the Lord does. Hivi ndivyo Bwana anafanya. When he restores. Anaporejesha. The oil of joy instead of mourning. Um, the oil of mafuta joy. ya furaha badala ya maombolezo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Previously Your face has no radiance. Hapo mbeleni uso wako haukuwa na furaha. People looked at you. Watu wanakutazama. And they wondered. Na walishangaa. Why is it that? Kwa nini you look 40 yet you are 20? Unaonekana uko na miaka 40 na uko na 20. But the Lord turns the tables. Lakini Bwana anabadilisha mambo. And now when they are you are 40 they say you look like you are 20. Na sasa ukifikisha umri wa 40 wanasema sasa umepata umri wa miaka. That is the oil of joy. Hayo ndiyo mafuta ya furaha. The Lord bringing a restoration. Bwana Mungu akileta urejesho. You wear garments of praise. Na tena pia mavazi ya furaha. Garments of praise. Vazi la sifa. Ni mwana mwana anganyeni wezi osoma. E flani flani amesoma. It is a garment of praise. Hilo ni fazi la sifa. Ndio mbona uko na maundu tatawe miaka 8. Mbona unafanya mambo kama uko na umri wa miaka 80? And you are just 30 years. Na wewe uko na miaka 30. That is the Lord restoring. Huyo ni Bwana akirejesha. And pouring a garment of praise on you. Na kuweka vazi la sifa juu yako. Instead of a spirit of despair. Badala ya roho iliyo nzito. And then na basi you will be called utaitwa an oak of righteousness miti ya haki a planting of the lord iliyopandwa na bwana for the display of his splendor ili utuku, atukuzwe you see the sweet thing about restoration ndio kitu kizuri kuhusu urejesho is that when you were previously ni kwamba ulipokuwa hapo awali an object or subject of mockery chombo cha dhihaka you were being dismissed ulikuwa unakataliwa the lord now makes you an oak of righteousness bwana sasa anakufanya mti wa haki so what, that when the lord wants to show 
ili kwamba bwana anapotamani kuonyesha he is doing e kazi yake around e katika maeneo he picks you anakuchukua then he places you na anakuweka somewhere mahali so you become an oak kwa hivyo unafanyika mti an oak is a hardwood tree mti wa aina hii ni mti mgumu you will find it uh, in in west africa the congo basin utaopata kule uh, afrika magharibi katika congo basin mount kenya e, hapa mlima kenya it's a very tall trees na ni mti ambao unakuwa mrefu sana they stand out zinatokelezea so what the lord does when he kile, restores you kwa hivyo kile bwana anafanya anakurejesha he sits somewhere ana, ana una keti mahali then he lifts you basi anakuinua you want to know what i can do unataka kujua vile naweza fanya usiniulize angalie ni so and so mtazameni fulani fulani yani wewe tu una send light hey, you are sending out the light. lord's doing of what the lord has done mungu anakuinua god lifts you so up so that you become a display ili ufanyike kitu cha kuonekana this year i'm displaying so and so mwaka huu naonyesha fulani fulani so msiniulize so don't ask mungitaka kujua vile i can restore you want to see how i can restore ni so and so mtazameni fulani fulani that is my display of my splendor sasa hiyo ni onyesho yangu ya wema wangu ama that is the oak i have lifted huo ndio mti ambao nimeuinua and he or she stands out na yeye anaonekana anatokelezea anaonekana that is my planting of sasa, restoration sasa eh, hilo ni pando langu la urejesho so benchmark with the so and so ukitaka benchmarking kwa hivyo ukitaka kujifananisha na mtu i have displayed so and so nimemuonyesha fulani fulani the lord restoring bwana akurejeshe so why is the lord restoring us kwa nini bwana aturejeshe for the display of his splendor kwa onyesho la utukufu wake there is a case in acts chapter 3 kuna kielelezo katika matendo ya mitume 3 ah uh, a crippled beggar yule kiwete aliye aliyekuwa naomba who set outside the gate called beautiful aliyeketi katika lango lililoitwa lango nzuri peter restored him petro akamrejesha no longer a cripple na sijaje si kiwete tena then after he is restored basi baada ya kurejeshwa the guy goes out in the villages yule akatoka akaingia katika vijiji and there is great concern na watu wana wanajali sana wana from pharisees teachers of the law you know the doubters mavarisayo na wafundisha wa sheria wako na maswali the non believers wale wasioamini they all asking questions wote wanauliza maswali how can this happen sasa hii inaweza kutendeka namna gani now acts chapter 4 Matendo wa mitume 4. The story is there in Acts chapter 4. Chapter 4 give me chapter 4 verse 3 to 4. Matendo wa mitume 4 kuanzia mstari wa 3. After Peter and John have performed this miracle, baada ya Petro na Yohana kutenda muujiza ule, these men sees Peter and John. Watu wao wanaona wanamuona Petro na Yohana. They, 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 they says him. Wanamchukua. Wakamchukua, aha. Huh? because it was evening kwa sababu ilikuwa jioni they put them in jail wakawaweka gerezani till the next day mpaka hata asubuhi iliyofuata uh -huh. but many who heard the message believed lakini wengi waliosikia habari hiyo wakaamini na look here hebu tazama restoration hapo. comes wakati urejesho umekuja it is now attract sasa unavutia restoration attracts Ovu, uh, uv, uh, urejesho unavutia when the lord gives back what you lost wakati bwana amekurudishia kile ulipoteza because he restores it resoundingly kwa sababu anakirudisha kwa njia iliyokuwa and i know it to another level he lifts it to another level those who hear wale ambao wanasikia now they now believe sasa wanaamini so the number of men who believed grew basi hesabu ya watu waume ikawa kama 1000 ikakua the restoration cost increase urejesho ukasababisha kuongezeka to about 5000 hata kufika 1500 hmm. now go to verse 14 ena mstari wa 10 na 4 but since they could see the man who had been healed he was standing there with them 
Na wakimwona yule aliyeponywa akisimama pamoja nao hawakuwa na neno la kujib the display of the Lord's splendor. Lile onyesho la utukufu wa Bwana. The man is here. Yule mtu yuko hapa. The Lord has done it. Bwana Mungu amefanya. So there was nothing they could say. Kwa hivyo hakuna jambo, hakuna kitu wangeuliza. So why does the Lord restore us? Kwa hivyo ni kwa nini Bwana aturejeshe? We become a display for his splendor. Ili tufanyike onyesho kwa watu wake. He gains glory from it. Yeye anapokea anapata utukufu kutoka jambo hilo. Then he ashames the enemy. Basi anamwebisha adui. There was nothing they could say. Hakuna kitu wangesema. The enemy is silenced. Adui ananyamazishwa. It is done. Imefanywa. However much they prevent the people from believing this it does not work hata vile zaidi walinyamanzisha watu hawa eh, haikufanya kazi because many more people believe sababu watu wengi zaidi waliamini there was a divine increase alikuwa na ongezeko la kiu because of restoration kwa sababu ya urejesho may the lord restore us bwana mungu aturejeshe so that you become his display ili ukafanyike onyesho lake where you work popote unafanya in your school katika shule yako in your community katika wherever you go popote uendapo that you become a display kwamba ufanyike onyesho of the doing of the lord la utendaji wa bwana and that the enemy will be ashamed na kwamba adui ataibishwa that is the promise of the lord hiyo ndio ahadi ya bwana so kwa hivyo in summary kwa kifupi we have said tumesema one about restoration moja kuhusu urejesho to understand we live in a fallen world uelewa kwamba tunaishi katika inji ya ugeni the enemy wants to steal adui anataka kuiba to destroy waribu and to kill us na kutuua and what belongs to us na kile ambacho ni chetu but we have the lord lakini tunaye bwana who is on our side bae kwa upande wetu to ensure we conquer kuhakikisha kwamba tumeshinda number two Nambari ya pili we are being shaped tunaendelea kutengenezwa so the lord the potter kwa hivyo bwana mfinyanzi is shaping us to become the best anatengeneza ili tufanyike bora it can ever be kile ambacho tunaweza kuwa but three restoration is an act of mercy nambari ya tatu urejesho ni tendo la kirehema number four restoration is god's promise la nne ni urejesho ni ahadi ya mungu but the lord restore us na kwamba mungu anaturejesha so that we become a display of his splendor ili tufanyike onyesho la utukufu wake he restores us anaturejesha to ashame the enemy ili tuaibishe adui and when we are restored na tukirejeshwa there is divine increase kuna ongezeko la kiu may the lord bless you bwana mungu awabariki and restore you na kuwarejesha that you become a display of his splendor ili mfanyike onyesho la utukufu wake amen shall we pray basi na tukaombe Our Father we bless you. Baba yetu tunakubariki. You have found it good to restore. Umeona kwamba ni kwema ili uturejeshe. What the enemy takes from us. Kile adui anatoa kwetu. And that restoration is your promise. Na kwamba urejesho ni ahadi yako. But Zion Zayuni will be restored. Itarejeshwa. Judah will be restored. Judah pia itarejeshwa. Israel shall be restored. Israeli watarejeshwa. That is your promise. Hiyo ni ahadi yako. Whatever the enemy took away from us. Chochote adui alichukua kutoka kwetu. It shall kwetu. come back to us. Kitakurudi kwetu. When you restored Job Liporudisha hiyo ayo. Restoration ayu. came with multiplication. Urejesho ulikuja na kuzidishwa. Lord that is what we pray. Bwana hicho ndicho tunaomba. That as you restore us oh Bwana. Kama unapoturejesha Bwana. We are going to experience oh Father. Tutaenda kupata Bwana. A bigger increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Ongezeka kukuu kwa jina la Yesu. Our enemies shall see. Maadui zetu wataona. They will say nothing. Wahatasema kitu. Because it is you are doing. Kwa sababu ni utendaji kazi wako. Lord wa. God. Bwana Mungu may this month of father mwezi huu be a month of restoration ukawe ni mwezi wa kurejesha mtu katika nyumba you shall give a testimony lord atatoa ushuhuda of you are doing ya in the name of jesus christ kwa jina la yesu may you bless us ukatubariki the service lord god katika ibada bwana may your spirit hover here roho wako akatembea hapa in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu we bless you and we honor you tunakubariki tokuheshimu in jesus name we do pray kwa jina la yesu tumeomba bwana awabariki sana god bless you god bless you asante sana Steve Yes Pastor Steve for being my uh, translator